Looks like Cafe Du Monde is still open. Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deej here. I'm coming to you from New Orleans because there's an iconic place here that is closing its doors for almost after a hundred years. We're gonna go check it out. And we're gonna update you on what's going on in the French Quarter and in New Orleans with this whole pandemic that we're all dealing with. So come join me. It is a very early morning in the French Quarter and I am walking down. The sun is rising. I'm heading towards the heart of the quarter for an old grocery store that has been here for quite some time. Now New Orleans has been under a modified phase one reopening plan. We've kind of gone backwards just a little bit because of the surge in numbers. And unfortunately it is affecting a lot of businesses around here in the city and in the French Quarter. Some places have already begun decorating for Mardi Gras. They've got their decorations out on the balconies here. It's looking a little festive in the quarter, even though there's not a lot of people around. A lot of places are closed. A lot of the delivery vans are making their deliveries to the different locations that are open here in the quarter. I'll tell you what, it is a bit chilly this morning. It is in the mid 40s right now and I'm kind of cold. <laughs> and as I approach the corner of Dauphine and St. Philip, here's the place that I wanted to tell you about. Matassas Market. It's a little tiny grocery store here in the French Quarter that has been here since 1924 and unfortunately today is the final day it will be open. They've been on this corner for almost a hundred years and it's pretty amazing to think that it survived this long. I know a few years ago they were in jeopardy of closing as well but they managed to stay open but unfortunately now the pandemic has really taken its toll in this particular business as well as many others but it's sad to see something like this a staple that is in the French Quarter that's possibly going away for good and the store is actually still run by a Matassa. Louis Matassa and his brother John have kept this place running most of their lives. They started working here I believe when they were teenagers but unfortunately they're going to be closing their doors today. Today is the last day they'll be open. Now this grocery store has served the French Quarter for a long time, primarily the people that live here, but tourists will come here as well when they're staying nearby to buy alcohol and beer and groceries for, for their needs. But since tourism has sort of been put on hold a little bit, mostly just residents of the French Quarter have been coming here for their grocery needs. And there it is, the Matassas Market sign established 1924, almost 100 years. And Louis Matassa told me he really wanted to make it to 100 years, but I told him he's pretty close, so it's an honorary 100 years. Everybody's going to remember Matassas. And you can see this old brick that's up here. It looks like they've added on to this place probably many years ago. This looks really old. I'm curious if they sell it, what's it going to become? They also have a deli here that features all kinds of different sandwiches, specifically Italian sandwiches, including the ever-popular muffalata. Just a nice selection of food to choose from. It's a real shame that people won't get to come here anymore and enjoy it. I'm sure over the last almost 100 years, there's been plenty of people to come in, sit down here in these chairs, and enjoy some food from Atassas.
and the Matassa name is very important to New Orleans. Louis's dad, Cosimo Matassa, had a recording studio here, and Cosimo Matassa is responsible for the New Orleans sound, recording people like Fats Domino and Little Richard, and basically helping to start rock and roll here in New Orleans. And there's Louis Matassa behind the register right there, greeting customers and saying goodbye. And people have been coming in while I've been here, saying goodbye, wishing him well. I'll tell you what, there's something like a nice brisk walk through the French Quarter. Early in the morning, there's no people around. It's really a very pleasant experience. Coming up to Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop Bar, one of the oldest buildings in New Orleans. Been here a very, very long time. And because we are back to phase one, there's no sitting inside and enjoying your favorite drinks. They must sit outside now, and because it's cold, probably not a lot of people want to sit outside. So hopefully this place is doing okay for the time being. Making my way to Bourbon Street now, you can see the famous You Need a Biscuit sign painted on the side of that old building there. It has been there for quite some time now, that old advertisement. And I know it's very early in the morning, but it is still very weird to me to see Bourbon Street completely empty. I'm not sure if that closed sign represents that this place has been closed for good or if it's just closed for now. The old washing well, Lawn Dry Tyria. <laughs> Here's Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo. It is still operating, it is just not open at the moment because of how early it is. signs on Bourbon Street pointing you which direction to be walking to stay socially distant, hopefully. I mean, it is Bourbon Street. It's kind of hard to follow those guidelines, but at least they're trying. Well, that's going to do it for me from out here in the French Quarter at Matassas Market. I hate to see the place go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little lanyap. From this Houdat, go pass a good time.